he actually did fucking jokes and puns. Oh yeah, he, he, uh, like. That's one thing he I hate about the Spider-Man. He wasn't movies. my favorite thing in the Spider-Man movies, but in the games, he was entertaining. Oh my god, it's like in the, the games in the were games, really entertaining. Puns and jokes everywhere. In the movies, it's all about fucking crying. <laughs> Angst. Angst. <laughs> <laughs> He's just as bad as Anakin Skywalker in two and three. <laughs> Okay, Spider-Man That's 2. That's a whole another episode. Okay, Spider-Man 2. Um, amazing. Spider-Man 2 um, is amazing. the best. It's the best Marvel it movie. It is in the my best. Opinion. It's the best Spider-Man movie. Like the new one, we'll get to that later, but I like it almost as much, but 2 is just 2 is the best. Tier, top tier. Dr. Octopus was Amazing. Alfred he, he Molina. nailed it. Alfred Molina is always amazing. Did, I keep saying this about all these actors, but they're did, great. They're yeah. just all great actors. Did you know who was supposed to be Dr. Octopus before no. him? No. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really? There was even a promo picture of him as Dr. Octopus. No. 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 Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. Office reference. I don't watch The Office. Me neither. I only seen that clip. I haven't seen that clip, but I love saying, oh, God, no, because it's fun. <laughs> oh, Steve Carell, you're so amazing. Okay, um, Spider-Man 2. Um, Mary Jane Watson, instead of wearing a red wig, decided to dye her hair red, and it's like more of an orange tang in the But it thing. looked better. It looked better. It definitely looked better. Her acting still sucked, but she <laughs> was a good overall, and uh, she, yeah, she got kidnapped again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Still a good film. It still pisses me off. <laughs> this is why I like the heroine better in the new movie. God damn. Gwen Stacy? Yeah. Yeah. She's not a fucking stereotype like in this fucking yeah, movie. Gwen Stacy is like, definitely a better character. Oh my god, I'm Mary Jane Watson and I'm here to uh, I'm here to dump Peter and I'm gonna go date this astronaut that only has like five lines in the entire fucking movie. Mm. And at the end I'm so gonna be kidnapped and I'm gonna learn about his secret identity and then I'm like, I don't care about the danger. I just wanna date you, Peter. So Spider-Man three, uh, the angstiest of them all. I thought it. I thought like I remember bring going me in the movie. Now I thought the it was cool that it had the villains, but it was just a packed movie, and it uh, shouldn't have been. There's it. too many fucking things in this movie, and it's all it so wrong. It didn't need to be as complicated as it was. It didn't need to be as angsty as it was, uh. and. Like, I like Bryce Dallas Howard, but I didn't care for her as Gwen Stacy. Oh my gosh. Bryce Dallas Howard is the prettiest girl in Hollywood. She's so pretty. She's, she's a bad actress now. <laughs> she's not an amazing actress. Her husband, okay, yeah, um, who wants to go first about Spider-Man 3? I, oh my god, I just we, need to, we need to collect the, the opinions of him about the first two movies. Oh yeah, yeah. We keep forgetting about you. So, <laughs> You're so Spider-Man trilogy, your thoughts. They were okay. 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 Mm, okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna go about <laughs> Spider-Man Three, and I'm gonna have the most negative reviews ever. Keep okay. Going. Um. I'll pick a number one. Um. Why the hell is the Harry Osborn Goblin thing called New Goblin? That's such a stupid fucking name. Call him Hobgoblin for God's sakes. No. He wasn't Hobgoblin though. Well, he wasn't Hobgoblin. They should just called him Green Goblin. But it. I like New Goblin's. New okay. Goblin's awful. And I like the character of Sandman, and he should have been the only villain in the movie, to be honest. The, because Venom's only there for, like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, I, I think they should have either gone all Venom or... All no Sandman. Venom. Yeah. Because Venom felt forced, and because... It's more about the adventures of Emo Parker and nightclub dancing. Yeah, they could have shortened the Emo Parker bit and just like they like maybe like twenty like the first like twenty minutes or so could have been developing Emo Parker and then he it would it's have like, come off and then like, would become Venom. You're... But no, it took up too much of the movie. So much of the movie took up too much of the movie. Oh, there was too oh much movie God. for the movie. There's too much movie. And it's like my only uh, thing about Emo Parker was uh, the whole dance scene in a nightclub. It's like, <laughs> I, I, imagine, imagine if you're uh, not a Spider-Man fan and you walked into that theater expecting Spider-Man, but you see that emo punk dancing on a chair and going all around the place. You'd expect that you were in Footless or something. 
Footloose was way better. The, everything in Footloose was way better than that scene. It's like, or High School Musical or some shit like that. And then basically there's Emo Parker and then there's him in the black suit moping on the fucking church. It's like, it changes mood swings all the fucking time. No one's time. arguing that and Kenny Loggins should have done the soundtrack to all the Spider-Man movies. No and one's arguing. That That just should have happened. Danny Elfman was the best in the first two movies before they replaced him in the third fucking movie because guess what Danny Elfman was doing in, during that time? What was Meet the fucking Robinsons. Oh, God He, he left Spider-Man 3 to movie. do the music for I Meet the Robinsons. that movie. Why? It's so good. It's so the, not the good. The music's good in can, Meet the Robinsons. Can you come in here and weigh in on this? Yeah, I do it. It's like uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it had the one composer of the best is Christopher history. Young. Never With heard of him. I can't, cause I got a big head and little arms. And I don't think you thought this plan through. That's it. That's the only thing I really like about okay, that movie. Okay, let's talk about and, all uh, the other parts that are amazing. Hypnotized frog talking yeah. back to the villain. Okay, yeah. let, let's uh, okay, not. Let's we're not talking about Meet the Robinsons now. Mary we're talking James. about this. Okay. Um, <laughs> plot point no, so plot breaking point number one hundred and seventy-three of Spider-Man Three is and the Tom Selleck uh, joke. When, um, the Tom Selleck joke is okay. when Mary Jane was dumping Ooh. Peter Parker because Harry was threatening her, because your boyfriend's fucking Spider-Man. You could have told Harry that Spider-Man can go kick your fucking ass. Like, you know when she dumped in the park, she could have been like, you know what, Harry's behind that tree. Go kick his fucking ass. It's like, no, she didn't do that. She she cried and shit and, oh my God. She cried and shit and literally shit in and the park like a dog. And then she got kidnapped what? again. Oh my god. I don't know why I said it's like that. she got kidnapped like 16 times in the goddamn movies. It's like, it's, the, it's just her only reason for being in a movie is to be kidnapped all the time. And it pains me to say that there is an actress in the movie that committed suicide after this movie. The, the Australian news reporter at the end of the movie, at the, the climax, she killed herself. Why? I don't know. She was sad? She was sad about not having movie roles. That sucks. Yeah. People shouldn't kill each other or themselves. Oh my god. Just saying. It's like, you know? okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, positive of Spider Man. into this uh, issue. Positive <laughs> yeah, of Spider Man 3. Talking um, about comic books and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get positives of Spider Man 3. There's, um, Sandman, he was really well done. The special effects were good. Yeah, special effects were. Definitely quite good. Um, and that's all I can think of. Everything else sucked about the movie. And the only thing about the trilogy I like is J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, he is so cool. It's like, I want Spider-Man. He actually came back for the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon that's playing right now. Oh, really? Yes. He's huh. uh, J. Jonah Jameson in a cartoon now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see, uh, next thing we're gonna talk about is Spider-Man, the new animated series from MTV. I really liked it. Apparently, I'm one of few people who really liked it. It was from the same people who did Reboot. And Beast Wars, and or Beasties as it's called in Canada. Yeah, Those I liked- the best shows ever. I Reboot know. and Beast Wars. Yeah. Oh my god. Beast Wars! <laughs> Electro looks fucking freaky on this cover. It's like- yeah, but Electro was cool in that show. Yeah, everyone is cool. Well, maybe not everyone, but that was a cool show. I like. I hated it. Mary Jane in the show. She, I, she was like a goth stereotype or something. I don't remember giving a shit about Mary Jane in that show, but that was a good show. I, I like. Yeah, Spider-Man talked to Stan Lee in the CG show. Okay. Spider-Man oh, talked to Stan Lee in the series oh, yeah. finale when she got kidnapped hmm. by Craven the Hunter in the series finale. It only lasted like thirteen episodes. That. Yeah. Is that the Neil Patrick Harris one? No. Yes. Wait, this one? Yes. This one's the Neil Patrick Harris? There's Neil Patrick yes. Harris in it. It's uh, Neil Patrick Harris is the voice of Spider-Man in well, it. Well, I forgot about that. It's been so f fucking long. <laughs> it's the reason why he came for uh, Shattered Dimensions, because we got every actor who did the voice of Spider-Man in the game. Nice. Yeah, I remember that he did in, in a Spider-Man cartoon, but I can't remember which one. I'm surprised it was that one, but that's cool. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember who else was in the show. Uh, the only one I can remember is... Um, Michael Clark Duncan as the Kingpin. That was the one from the Daredevil. Uh, yeah, Daredevil he was in movie. the Daredevil that was coming movie. out. I know, but the good thing is, right now he's hunting albinos in heaven. Yeah. Yes. God bless his soul, man. Yes. God bless his soul. Is this episode is dedicated in his memory? <laughs> We're talking about 
about dead people a lot. Stop this! End this Wait, now! Wait, um, the, the Australian news reporter, Uncle Ben No, let's Kingpin. stop this! Stop! Yes. stop. Shut up! Oh. Shut up! <laughs> this oh this shouldn't be this depressing. <laughs> oh, this is fucking depressing. Okay, what's else. next? Oh, man. The Fantastic Four movies and the amazing controversy with this specific copy. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I bought this at Walmart on Boxing Day in 2008. And guess what's inside? Guess what's in fucking inside? It's a piece of fucking glass! It's fucking glass! Made in Canada! He paid two for 15 for that. It's glass? <laughs> two for 15! It's fucking glass! I thought at, I thought at first yeah. it was uh, supposed to be like this because of Invincible Woman, but no. <laughs> it's a fucking piece of fucking glass! <laughs> It's like, you know what we're gonna do for a DVD? We're gonna make it transparent like an uh, invisible girl in the movie, huh? Wrong! Wrong! Just, it's a fucking piece of glass! That technology just exists. This God, exists. it's like there's no copyright information Fuck or logic. anything. There's no like uh, copyright 2005 Fox on it. It's a piece of fucking glass. Doctor Doom is laughing at my ass okay, right now. Okay, now the movie. Now let's talk about the actual movie, sort of. I've never seen the movie. You ever seen it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was ex I was supposed to, but it's a piece of fucking glass. It's on Netflix, isn't it? No, no. I, the only, I've only Whatever. seen briefly one clip of Jessica Alba stripping down to turn invincible during a fight. That's it. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna say. Like the CG was good, but the movie it's it's super it's super family friendly. Like wow. it actually is. Like, don't get me wrong. It's it's got like the necessary PG thirteen ness. Yes, but it's PG thirteen. It is PG thirteen. But when you watch it, like it's it's incredibly family friendly. Oh well, shit! There's no ratings but on this thing. When you watch the uh, the theatrical, here's one another no, thing I'm gonna uh, say is that the theatrical cut is violence is not recommended really for children. it like it, it's missing huge chunks no noticeably. That was a problem for me. Like, it, yeah. like all of a sudden, like there's a point in the movie where everyone disbands, and all of a sudden they're together for no reason. Yeah. Cool. Cause friendship. Yay. <laughs> but there was an extended cut. Okay, it's actually significantly better. Uh, it's longer, but it's better, and it explains a lot more, and it makes more sense. The second one, however, doesn't have an extended cut. No. The um, second one. We're gonna before we talk about the second one. We're yeah. gonna briefly talk about the 2005 animated series of the Fantastic Four that was done in promotion of the movie. Oh yeah, I hated that show. It's basically what happens when you get Dragon Ball Z actors to do uh, American characters. I didn't care for and it. And the animation was uh, pretty good for a French cartoon. I didn't like the animation or. The the voice actors or the story or the no. characters it's like, I or can't, the I theme. Can't, I can't see um, <laughs> or the DVD cover. Is there a robot? I can't see Double D from Ed and Eddie remember. being the voice of a computer in the show. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, it's, it's him. Nice. Um, okay, sequel time. This time it's not a piece of fucking glass. Fucking finally, Walmart! But he still hasn't seen it. No, I got it fits for $5. I, I haven't seen any of the Fantastic Four movies, unfortunately. Admittedly, better than the theatrical cut of the first movie, it's still, it's still, like, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't know, know how... I had a cameo in it. Yeah, he does, it's... At the wedding. I'm it's still like, gonna say the same thing, is that, like, it doesn't understand when it wants to be darker, when it wants to be more family-friendly, because, like, it shifts constantly, and that's... It's, it's, it's a tonal mess, those movies. How were the one special thing effects say. for the Silver Surfer? Silver Surfer, he looked pretty cool. Galactus was a mess. Uh, it's. It, I heard it's a CG puff of cloud. It is. Oh, God. That's fucking what it is. God. And here you'll see a picture of what he's supposed to fucking look like. Probably. Premiere Pro, away! This is, this is a green screen. Yes. So, I can't see it. Spoilers. But I can't imagine it. Um, I the magic. Next, next. There is no magic. Here, uh, there's no magic here, but like want to elsewhere. Talk about the X-Men films briefly? Yes, yes I do. Um, I only seen the second and the third one and Origins. Excluding uh, First Class. Okay, well for stars, those first two X-Men movies are like... Amazing. Fucking amazing. They are the best. I like the second best. one where he scared a cat. The second one is just, just incredible. Like Brian Singer, wow. 
Like, oh. I can't believe you made, I can't believe you made Jack the Giant Slayer. Do you, like, no, no, you know what, what happened to Brian Singer? What happened he, to Brian Singer? He, he left X3 to do Superman Returns. Which I liked. You like Superman Returns? I like Superman Returns. Fuck off. Whatever. Well, I'm done here. I'm done. No, no, okay, fine. I'll stay. But I did like that movie. So shut up. Well, everybody hates it. I haven't seen it, but I heard it has <laughs> freaking plot problems. Whatever, guys. Everybody and yes, hates that you have Jones. noticed that I have I know, not seen any fucking movies other than <laughs> Spider Man. Yes, I'm a fanboy of Spider Man. I can't be bothered to watch the rest of the Marvel shit. Even though I'm a big Marvel fan recently. Uh, Daredevil? Oh, my God. Uh. Um, I only saw it once, but I read the novelization of the movie. A lot. <laughs> yes, I read the novelization without watching the movie. Well, one thing that I didn't like about the Daredevil movie at first, because <laughs> like I never read the Daredevil comics or anything, but uh, the movie, the the first movie was a mess. Uh, the first movie, there's only one movie. Yeah, there is the only one. The theatrical cut of the movie was a mess. And the director's cut was good. Like it wasn't like the best, but it was it improved. Oh my Definitely. god. Definitely. Definitely. Like if you hate the the Daredevil movie, and I'm sure lots of you do, at least give the director's cut a chance because there is there is stuff to find there that that's much better. I know the only thing Just I saying, hated guys. was the fact that at, when I was a kid, I hated the fact that it wasn't the Kingpin from the Spider-Man cartoon. He wasn't wearing the white suit and everything. I liked, I, yeah, but I like Michael Clark Duncan. Or he whatever, is so. a good kingpin. He was great. But they should have just made a completely original character for him instead of being the kingpin. Because people will read the comic for like, how come the kingpin's uh, not black in the comics? Like, okay. Because Michael Clark Duncan's awesome. Yes, That's why. he is fucking awesome. May he rest in peace. Sorry, Daredevil I, movie. Sorry, I thoughts. doubted you, Michael Clark Duncan. Uh, it was one of the best. It's definitely better than all the Spider-Man movies. Wow. Really? Is that really? your actual opinion? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I can take wow, that. Wow, we have a different opinion for I once. I can take that. Have you seen the director's cut? Yep. Nice. Director's cut's good. I haven't yeah. seen it, but I've seen it in stores, and I wanted to get it, but I yeah. unfortunately yeah. like the $10 for oh, it. Oh, man. Electra is actually the only movie that's definitely better than the Daredevil movie. What? Really? Yeah. Really? I wow. seen the Electra movie. It it's, was fucking awful. It's way better. And if I'm saying that the Daredevil movie is better than Spider-Man's, then what do you... Electra, the fanboys are going to go after you. No, because most of the fanboys really love that Electra movie. Really? Yeah. Really? Huh. I, I've seen. I I've, okay, seen I've seen otherwise. I've seen otherwise on I didn't the internet. Hate it. I didn't hate it. I didn't. I didn't care I, for I've it. I've seen though. a review. Literally, cut his copy of Electra with a freaking sword. <laughs> Here's to you, Buster. Buster. Okay, um, what's next? Wolverine and the X-Men. Never seen that. I have to. It it's good. only one season long. It's the best. It's the second best X-Men cartoon, in my opinion. I've seen clips. It looks great. I gotta watch it. Steve Blum is the definite Wolverine for me. I like his shrill, deep voice, bub. <laughs> bub. And De Deadpool was supposed to be in second season, but unfortunately that got canceled. And the voice of Mr. Krabs is the voice of Mr. Sinister, the big villain of the show. Oh, I love that guy, uh, he, Clancy he, Brown. Yeah, he took the Kurgan. He took one of the heroes in the show called the Angel, and he made him evil and shit. He's the Kurgan. Mm-hmm. Islander. Yeah, and he's uh, good as Lex Luthor in the Superman cartoon. Right. Yeah. Um. Uh, any opinions well, on Well, that's for the DC the episode, which will happen. Never saw it. You never yeah. saw it. Okay. Yeah, well, I have to watch it. You yeah, watch I, I, it. I I'm know. the only one that watched. At least the, I'll watch it. I watched the entire series when it played on YTV. Um, okay, and next we're going to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which the first movie is Iron Man over there. Can you go pick it up? Okay, um, the Iron Man movie is, without a doubt, one of the most amazing Marvel movies I've ever seen in my life. But you did it, and now I'm just embarrassed because I picked it up and ruined it. I ruined your thunder. Yes, and there uh, we go. Robert Downey Jr. is the best Tony Stark ever. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> okay, Robert Downey Jr. is, without a doubt, the best 
Tony Stark ever. He looks like him, he acts like him, he's absolutely perfect. Even when he's in the Iron Man suit, which is fucking amazing. Hey guys, guys, guys. Did any of you see any of those Marvel animated movies that went straight to video? Yes. Why aren't we talking about those? Those were before my Iron Man. Whoops. I honestly forgot about them. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. They weren't very good. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> okay, Ultimate Avengers. Ultimate Avengers 2. Iron Man. Doctor Strange. Planet Hulk. Um, the two four movies. The one based on the motion, cap the motion comic. Iron Man Extreme is the motion comic. Spider Spider Man the web comic. Can okay. you tell me right out of the budget if he just took the comic and animated the fucking comic? For the motion comic ones, but like the the other movie ones, they 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 existed. They were real movie, like real Thank uniquely God animated that movies. Apart. They weren't good though, so don't watch. Actually, uh, the, the Avengers one was okay. The, uh, are you talking about like, the Avengers one with them as adults or the ones with the kids from the future with the adults uh, Hulk? The one as the adults. They're adults and stuff. Uh, Ultimate Avengers that one and Ultimate Avengers 2. Awful. I haven't seen those, that one, but it doesn't sound good. Anyways, so yeah, I was just saying all that to be a dick. <laughs> so back to Iron Man. Okay, Iron Man is without a doubt the, one of the best Marvel movies ever made and it shows. And it... Uh, basically paved the way for a whole bunch of Marvel movies with the same universe instead of having different studios do fucking movies. The next one later that year <coughs> was uh, Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton as uh, Bruce Banner and Lou Ferrigno as the voice of Hulk. Yeah, that, was, that one was pretty good. Yeah, like, it, it was good. It was better than Ang Lee's Hulk. Ang Lee's Hulk was too... Like oh, yeah, it was too that. serious. His his Hulk was like like it was actually like more serious than the than the he who shall not be named on this episode movies. Like um uh like even Ang Lee in a more recent interview for Life of Pi, he said that the movie that he should have had more fun with the movie. It shouldn't have been as serious as it yeah, was. Yeah, and there was no villains from the comics. There was a nod that uh, spoiler alert, because you're not gonna watch the fucking movie anyways, that Bruce Banner's dad is the abomination. Yeah, but that still wasn't done terribly well. And Bruce Gamma rated dogs for some reason. Oh, I know yeah, that, I know that was, was a comic that? thing. I didn't care for that. I didn't no, care it's for like, woof, 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 woof. I like Eric Banner though. Eric Banner's cool. He was a cool Bruce Banner. Yeah, Lou Ferrigno was the voice of Hulk again. He did the voice of Hulk for everything. So back to the Edward Norton one, because like the real subject here. It, well, no, what are your thoughts on the Hulk movies and the Iron Man movie? I just like the soundtrack for the Edward Norton one that Craig wow. Armstrong did. Okay. okay, that's an interesting opinion. You don't care for the actual movies though. I like Edward Norton. You guys Edward. ever see Fight Club? Ever. No one dares mention Fight Club. When they mention Fight Club, they never do mention Fight Club. What the what? <laughs> the fuck! I know it's first. Some, it's some stupid catchphrase from the movie. I no, fucked I don't up. think no, no. that was quite it. But uh, first rule about Fight Club. <laughs> first rule about Fight Club: you don't talk about Fight Club. Now we could talk about Fight Club, but let's not talk about Fight Club. <laughs> let's talk about the Hulk. Yes, I I never seen the Edward Norton movie. Mm -hmm. My sister did, and she liked it. You've never seen the Edward Norton Hulk movie? For fuck's sake, man, you're- I only watched the Spider-Man shit. Oh, yeah, but like the freaking Avengers came out. Like you couldn't, you couldn't watch it for that. You couldn't be all like, hey, Avengers, I, big earth shattering movie coming out. Why not catch up? Because it would make I don't sense. Own a You're copy. a comic book fan. I don't, Come I the don't fuck own a copy, on. but I rented the <laughs> Sega game. God damn it, man. Yes, I am ashamed. I am ashamed. I am not the most perfect comic book nerd in the fucking world. Incredible Hulk movie, solid film, good actors, and of course the the cameo at the end, which you don't know what is because you're stupid. No, Nick Fury wasn't. Robert in the Hulk. Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. was in the Hulk. Yes, for like thirty seconds. Yeah, well, not. They reused that clip it's in the bonus features for Avengers for a promo. It was a fun little nod. Okay. Oh, it's been an hour. Uh, okay, what's next? What's next in anime? Spectacular Spider-Man, which is right here. Spectacular Spider-Man from the creator of Gargoyles, you said. Yes. Which is cool because that's also cool. It is, without a doubt, the best Spider-Man animated series ever made, in my opinion, and it should not have been canceled. 
it only happened because Disney bought Marvel and they uh, forced down production so they could produce their new fucking series. Yeah, I mean, I've only seen a few episodes of that, but like, it was it was pretty good. It was quite good. Do you know who did the Vulture? No. Robert England. Okay, I saw his name in the credits, but I didn't know who. He was. he did the Vulture. Freddy Krueger was the Vulture. Yeah, but to, yeah, but he's done like so many like stupid straight to video shit. No one cares anymore. I mean, it's cool. He's cool, but like, it's just sad. His career. The only you know? villain I hate the voice of is the Shocker. It's just. Uh, the voice of Johnny Bravo doing a southern accent for the Shocker. Because we co basically combined the character, a, a southern villain character from the Enforcers and turned him into the Shocker. But the best voice actor for me in the show is John DiMaggio. He's the Sandman. Mm. You can hear that. He, you can hear him use his um, Bender voice a lot. Yeah, no, he. Venom's he, voice was awful, to be honest. His just, voice isn't typically like John Amacio. He's it's like the recognizable. It's like the the one, the the voice for Venom in the show is really badly made. It's like it's two, it's the original voice and the edited voice and the don't play in Unision. It's like they're like delayed by a second and it looks it sounds really awful. Okay, let's uh, uh, the nitpicks in certain episodes here. I think we're going a bit too far with that. Yeah, we should actually like the show. It's a good show. The animation is interesting. The type of the the style of the story they take is is it just reminds me it's of cool. uh, Transformers animated, which was another good show. Never watched that. It was a good show. It. Also got I'm guessing you never watched Spectacular Spider-Man. You so should. He has no frame of reference. There was a cameo of Stan Lee the... in the second season. It's like, yeah. am I being punked? <laughs> so what's next? Okay, next is uh, four. Four? Yes, the what movie. Four? The movie uh, with uh, the live action movie. Thor! Thor! I thought I said four and I'm like, what? It's my French again. Fucker. Okay. Um, Thor is a cool movie. It's a cool movie, yeah. But the um, thing about Thor is is that uh, again, like I'm going, I'm keep, I'm going to keep going to like film buff mode with this. Mm -hmm. But like, the thing about Thor is that it takes the three act structure structure extremely uh, this, seriously. The middle act was boring. Like it, it actually like the first, second, and third acts are nothing alike in any way. And you don't no. see that these days in movies. Typically, they just mesh everything together. So it was. As a movie, it was cool. As an adaptation, I have no idea because I'm not. I wasn't too familiar with Thor before going into the film, but yeah. it was an entertaining, fun, crazy action movie. So I've only seen cool the '60s it. comics of Thor before watching the movie. It was well done. I like that it. That although, let's face it, like the plot and everything with the whole. Norse Romance. gods and all that. Like, it was crazy ass, and they didn't bother putting any actual logic to it. They I just, hated, they I just hated the romance in the movie. I thought it was cool. Like, I like Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman. I thought they were cute together. Yeah, it's just, it's a big problem I had with the Green Lantern movie. The whole romance just took We'll get everything. into Green Lantern and all that DC stuff in our DC episode, which, which will not have Batman in it. No. I said his name. Anyways. You will be burned! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what's next? What's next? Captain America. Captain uh, America. First Soldier. That is my favorite Marvel movie of all time. It's my third favorite Marvel movie. It is my favorite. I watch that movie. I feel like I'm 12 years old. Like in a good way. Like like in those times when I, I feel like I, I felt when when the original Spider Man first came out. That's how I feel when it's I like, watch Captain America. I never read Captain America before watching the movie. And Same here. Like I got I, I love read the Captain movie America and now. It's the guy from Fantastic Four of the Human Torch is oh, Captain yeah, Chris America. Evans. And he is awesome as, as Captain America. He's but great. He's the only one that has done two different Marvel superheroes. Imagine what's going to happen when we do Avengers and Fantastic Four crossover. It's going to be really fucking awkward. Well, no, they've re they're rebooting Fantastic Four. New cast, new everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank also, God for Disney. Um, so, yeah, Thor, your thoughts. We didn't go to you because we keep forgetting about you because you're yes, so quiet. Yes, cool. You're so freaking quiet. You're the Mateo adorable. this week. You're it? quiet and adorable. Thank you, John. <laughs> We will touch penises one day. One day. 
Oh my god. So Thor, Why are you ignoring us? <laughs> uh, it was good. Yeah. Natalie Portman's in that movie. Yeah. Mm. I like says Loki. everything. I like Loki. He had his freaking comic book suit for fucking once. Oh yeah. They 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 went they went full comic book with that for the most part, which is cool from what I can tell. Well, except the fact that uh, Thor had a beard, but that's the ultimate version. All to right. be honest. Well, yeah. The movies, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, does take the ultimate universe. Because yeah. in the Ultimate Universe, uh, Nick Fury was based on uh, Samuel, Samuel Jackson, Jackson, and that was done in like 1999. Yeah, and that was perfect. I read all about that. That was cool. Uh, Captain America movie.